Hi, this is Peter Willey. We're on the bridge of the Lagos Hope in London. I'm here with the captain in next door with this festival. Uh, I'm trying to pronounce his name right. Dirk Colin Brander. He's from the Netherlands. Tell us the story, first of all, how you became captain of this incredible vessel. Well, as an eight-year-old boy, I told my friends I want to become a captain on the ship, but I also wanted to go around the world and tell the people about God. I never heard about OM ships or anything, but uh, then my dad found out actually that OM ships existed and that they were going around with ships uh, to share about God. So when I heard about that, I prayed and I promised God that I'm going to work as a work as tech officer for you on the Lagos. So in the end, I ended up serving 11 years commercially before uh, joining our own ships. And at that time, I also one day sat in church and I turned around and was completely alone. And uh, I met my wife, but uh, I, I knew I promised to God I was going to uh, work for him. A girlfriend that's a Christian is one thing, but somebody who wants to join me live on a ship, go around the world, run by the house, cry, and whatever. Something else. After a week, I got very nervous. I don't want to break my promise with God. So I thought it's easier to break it now than in a few years. So I asked her after one week, if we would get married, would you join me on the on the And she said, Yeah, I'm sure. So uh, from that moment, we knew. So uh, when we got married, um, she was still studying. Uh, she, she finished her studies first. I still had a contract with my company because they paid for my company's license and everything. And once that was finished, we thought, ah, nothing is stopping us now, let's go. And then uh, we joined the Lagos too in uh, 2003. And uh, I joined the job as a chief officer. At that time, kept up the company going all the time, and uh, sometimes just for the voyage, and then there would be times that asked me to be ready with the papers you have to so become the captain. So that's how it started, and then uh, later on, I uh, was moved to another whole project, and the ship was still in the ship there. And uh, I was the captain. It's a wonderful story, and what are your impressions of this ship? We're on the bridge right now. Very exciting. Um, just now we, we had some great experience already going to the ports in Europe and knowing that uh, the other countries where we will go, there will be even a much uh, greater interest. And, and often on the other ships, also we saw long lines of people wanting to come on board. And having a bigger ship with more possibilities and more crew to, to meet the visitors is really exciting. We already hear now so much more stories of a wonderful um, uh, moments that people meet with people from their own country or personal special needs and how, how it could be a blessing to people that come and visit the ship. Well, we look forward to seeing how the ministry continues on this ship. We've been speaking to you today. Poland, from the Netherlands, on the bridge, and being by myself.